Hello, hello. Welcome back to the Shoe Snob unboxing one take wonder videos. Here I am with a new pair of boots, so should I say, uh, to unravel and show all of you. Let me preface this video by saying that you might hear a bit of sniffles from me today because I'm feeling under the weather, but uh, work's got to be done. So please forgive the casual, sicky, uh, cold looking experience you're going to get, but uh, yeah, I'm feeling a bit rough. So here we go. Today we're looking at Carlos Santos. Now, <clears throat> these Carlos Santos boots are uh, a pair of handcrafted GMTOs brought to you by The Noble Shoe, who is an online retailer hailing from Sweden, uh, who has quite a nice Instagram page with some lovely photography and some lovely models on offer. They were kind enough to send me a pair of one of their Carlos Santos hand grade boots. Some of you might be familiar with the look of these as they are very inspired by a very famous derby boot that uh, most of us know. So let's take a look. First and foremost, something that's different that you don't see that you notice right away. I don't know if you'll be able to tell in the video, but Carlos Santos has a nice little inscription here um, thanking you for the purchase and talking about the, the quality of the shoes and, and a nice lining too. It's a really well thought out box. These little details may go overlooked a lot of times, but uh, believe me, <laughs> going through this stuff myself, I know how much these little details cost and matter. So nice to see that. Inside, there's a shoehorn, always a nice touch. Plastic, of course, really makes no sense to put metal ones. Um, there's a little pamphlet that just briefly touches on what Goodyear Welting means. Good little ed educational piece. Two bags, two boot bags. They look sized because they look quite small for a boot bag, which as I have relatively small sized shoe, they'll probably be just perfect. I'm gonna put those down. We got a nice presentation here with some paper, some bubble wrap. You can see they look good, they look presentable, neat. Let's take out the boots themselves, the product. <clears throat> care of this but standard you get a little pull ring here a little sticker that shows the model the color the size uh, the sole even and the last they go above and beyond I've never seen a sole uh, on the sticker there on the box so just so you can have all your information in one place so here are the boots <clears throat> most of you might recognize this pattern but it was made famous by Edward Green in their Galway boots Many makers in the industry have pretty much created almost an exact replica of this because it's such a popular model. But again, not everybody can afford Edward Green pricing. So, you know, I can understand that somebody who aspires to own something of that look or semi quality, I'm not going to say Carlos Asando is as good as Edward Green, but uh, it's nice that a well-respected, well-made maker can give something at a more affordable price for the people that can't uh, pay upwards of $1,200 for a pair of boots. So <clears throat> I got a few notes to say here, which is all for you guys. Um, these boots currently are, we're in a GMTO that were ordered. There's some stock pairs left for some of you that might be lucky enough to have these sizes. They are a UK seven and a half, a UK 8, a UK 9, and a UK 9.5. They are all available at roughly around 324 euros or $360, give or take. I presume this is a non-VAT price, so for those of you in Europe, they are going to be 20% more expensive, unfortunately. Um, that has a 10% discount already uh, in that price, which $360 for a hand grade boot like this is crazy good um, it's unheard of really it's kind of the beauty of Portuguese making uh, where Carlos Santos hails from if it's good it's unbeatable because they seem to have very low prices I, I imagine if if leather is the same as where we all buy leather I imagine that the uh, 
the cost of, of labor is quite low out there, hence the amazingly good pricing on an amazingly well-made pair of boots such as this one. Uh, <clears throat> I'll get into the details of the shoe in just a second. I have a few more notes for you. Again, the retailers are the noble shoe. For those of you that maybe don't want this boot but see something else there you like, I do have a discount code for you that is good until March 31st. And that discount code is love the snob. That's L O V E T H E S N O B. And that gets you a 10% discount on anything that is at full price. So uh, things that have built in sale prices not included and things listed as on sale not included. And again, that's good until March 31st. So a little bit of a gift for watching this. Um, maybe you find something you like and that little extra just helps. Um, so let's go to the boots here. Carlos Santos quality. You can't beat it. I mean, the only thing I've noticed is a little, little black smudge here on the back part, but I mean, who really cares about that? Your pant, your trousers are going to cover that. The finishing is, you know, you, there's nothing wrong with it. You got a fudge wheel, you got good stitching, you got a clean beveled waist. You got a slight fiddle back on the bottom. You got a nice sole. I'm not crazy about the sole color, but again, not something that matters since that's going to go away in about uh, 30 minutes wear, uh, at least for me, because I'm quite hard on my shoes. Um, phenomenal making, especially for the price. Um, yeah, there's really nothing but good things to say. It's hard to knock them. Um, it's hard to knock them, of course, you know, there are little minor baby things here and there, but nothing that's even worth mentioning, to be honest, because, again, when you judge a shoe, you got to judge it relative to its price. You know, I can't be looking at this and thinking to find the same quality as Edward Green or Gastian Gerlin or other things that say handmade, because then I would be comparing apples and oranges, uh, and it's something that we should all be aware about. I like the lining. I mean, the quality of the leather and all the materials used looks top notch. And I can imagine it will feel top notch when I get these bad boys on. But uh, first, gotta give them some more photography. Anyway, <clears throat> Carlos Santos hand grade field boot available again UK 7.5, UK 8, UK 9, and UK 9.5 uh, at The Noble Shoe on Instagram, check them out. They have a website as well, but check them out. Give them a like, a follow. They have great photography, great offering, uh, and great prices. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. I'll be back for more. I have more and more makers sending me stuff. I'm almost piling up the things, and to be honest, I wanna start doing more things than just shoes, uh, as I really wanna help spread any menswear brand that I appreciate, that I like, uh, because, you know, I love shoes and I think shoes start it all, but there's a lot more out there that uh, deserves recognition and I know I have a platform to do it. So stay tuned to see more great things. I will do my best to get these out faster. It's a tough time running a business and doing the blog and everything. So anyway, appreciate all your support. Stay tuned for more. Thanks again. Bye-bye.